It's Monday, February 28th, a cloudy day here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. President Moon Jae-in ordered officials to draw up humanitarian aid for Ukraine to help support the worsening humanitarian crisis following Russia's invasion of the country. Moon also asked for measures to minimize the impact of sanctions on Russia. South Korea decided to ban exports of strategic materials to Russia as part of efforts to join international sanctions against Moscow. Foreign Ministry officials plan to hold talks with the U.S. later this week about export controls. Currently, Russia is South Korea's 10th largest trading partner, accounting for 1.6 percent of exports in 2021. Meanwhile, the government plans to provide financial support to local exporters facing damage from Ukraine crisis. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un attended a major ruling party event held in Pyongyang. According to the country's state media, the North held a second conference of secretaries of primary committees of the Workers' Party of Korea on Saturday, following the first such conference held in 2016. Kim delivered an opening speech and talked about the serious deviations of not meeting the requirement of the developing reality, despite the growth of a lot of primary organizations of the party, as well as progress in their position and role. He also stressed the need to share experience gained in improving work and learn a lesson from mistakes. On the second day of the conference, North Korean officials acknowledged shortcomings in implementing party tasks and pledged to improve them. Samsung's new flagship Galaxy S22 series have dominated the global markets. South Korea's tech giant said Monday as latest product series saw more pre-orders within the first week than any other Samsung smartphone and tablet to date, as the pre-orders more than doubled those of its predecessor. Samsung India said that it secured over 70,000 pre-orders of Galaxy S22 series in less than 12 hours of its release, while in the U.S. it's taking more than three months to receive the products in delivery due to high demand. Samsung also unveiled a new Galaxy Book laptop at this year's Mobile World Congress, one of the top three global tech events held in Spain. Those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can always check out our official website linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Korean Now for more daily updates.